When we calculate the probability of multiple events, the first thing we do is determine how many events we have. Then we put a fraction line for each of these and separate the fraction lines with multiplication symbols. We calculate the probability of each event separately using favorable over total. Finally, we multiply the fractions to get the final answer. In this example, what is the probability of having three girls followed by a boy when you have four children? Having four children is four events, so we write four fraction lines with multiplication symbols between them. The probability of having a girl is one out of two, and the probability of having a boy is also one out of two. So in this case, all four of our fractions will be one over two. When we multiply these four fractions together, we get 1 over 16, which converts to a decimal of 0 0.0625, or in percentage form, is equal to 6.25%. In this example, what is the probability of getting three hearts when choosing without replacement from a standard deck of 52 cards? There are three events involved in getting three hearts, so we put three fraction lines with multiplication symbols between them. The probability of the first event happening is 13 over 52, because there are 13 hearts in the deck and 52 cards in the deck. The probability of the second event happening is 12 over 51, because we are choosing without replacement, so there are 12 hearts left and 51 cards left. Thus, the probability of the third event happening will be 11 over 50. When we multiply these fractions together, we get 1,716 over 132,600, which reduces to 11 over 850. Converting this fraction into decimal form, we get an answer that rounds off to 0 0.0129, or is equal to 1.29%. In this example, what is the probability of getting three fives when rolling three dice? Rolling three dice is three events, so we put three fraction lines with multiplication symbols between them. The chances of getting a five when you roll a die are always one out of six, so all three of the fractions will be equal to one over six. When we multiply these fractions together, we get one over 216 which in decimal form rounds to 0 0.0046296 and in percentage form gives 0.46%.